yo, yo, what up, guys? It's your boys, the Uncut Knowledge Podcast. It's your boy, V Phrase. And your man, Coach. And your boy, Vet. And his bro. Man, make sure y'all keep tuning in, like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification button, man, and y'all stay tuned in. Ah. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to another episode of the Uncut Knowledge Podcast. Crikey. I have a little drink right here. We have a guest, Kevin. What's up, y'all? He's going to kick it with us today as we talk about whatever. We're going to open up about this white woman, though. Uh, Amber Guy. First, fellas, introduce yourselves. Uh, what's going on? I know y'all haven't seen me once again for a minute. It's your boy Frazier on the ones and twos coming from the third dimension. How y'all doing? What's going on? Hey, it's your boy fucking vet. I'm here <laughs> and I relinquish my status here <laughs> on the uncut podcast. Let them know who you is again. Good evening. I'm Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> the sexy. Yo, 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 Went to another man's apartment and shot him because she thought it was her apartment. And she was scared or whatever. I don't know if y'all been keeping up with the case. I have. You know, so with me, in my opinion, I'm I'm happy. Ten years. Ah, it's a little light. But the whole process, my thing as a defense is like, why would you call that person? You knew she wasn't ready for that. You know what I'm saying? That Thank type you. of ridicule because the prosecutor was on her nugget her, her nugget <laughs> any of y'all happen to catch it or see that? oh yeah so they gave her they did the sentence already gave her 10 years yeah they gave her yeah, 10 they years she they proved the uh what was it the, whatever law just look it up what law the passion something passion no, the one law. you're talking about the castle i think yeah the, the castle, castle. Yeah. yeah 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 right so they had, they had the thing where Supposedly, the jury was like, well, if you, one of the defensive things was she thought it was her house and you can stand your ground in your own house. So somehow she was justified in killing him because she thought she was in her own house. But then it was like, no, don't count. Yeah, don't count. You know that was your house. Yeah. (laughs) But it's like. No, look around and. Like this thing, it has to be like rectified because now you say if you let her off. Not only do I got to worry about burglars, robbers, the everyday criminal, I got to now worry about the people that are hired to protect me right. can walk a up in my house, house and right. shoot me. And shoot me. And they're supposed to be years. trained. They say, oh, right. I thought it was my house. Oh, oh I, I thought it was the other side of town, though. And what's crazy, like, go if ahead, I suggest y'all go out here and look at the case, like, <sighs> that, that, that's a prosecutor for your ass. She was he, fold in. He was 10 toes down. <laughs> Literally, like he was like one of his arguments was he got a ass like officially. He said the whole time you've been telling us as the jury that you depend on your training, you even live by your training. Now when you got home, you knew to back your car in because you're trained to as a police officer. If something happens, back your car in. You can get right out and go where it needs to go. You knew to keep your right hand free. Cause that's where your gun is. If something was to go down, you know, I didn't even know. I heard new stuff that she heard a sound before she went into the room. So you heard somebody in there and your training, they tell you as a police officer, get somewhere safety, call it in, get back up on top of the police station is maybe two blocks away from my house. Mm -hmm. So when she did call it in, from the time she called it in, it took them two minutes to have paramedics, other police officers in the room. 
I was like, damn, Emory. He said, yeah, you get all the way up to this point and forget your training because everything is moving so fast. I was like, ah, that's going to hurt you. And on top of you went in and you said freeze twice. Now, once did you look around and be like, okay, hold on. This ain't my spot. You didn't assess the situation. And none, none of that. None All of right. it. And then I read like that little red welcome carpet like outside the door. You can see that in the video. Before you even walk in the door, you say, I don't have a red welcome carpet. He's the only person on this floor with a red one. There's no carpet, period, on nobody else's floor, let alone a red one. My opinion, if she was to handle it better and say, I messed up, I was distracted, I take full of responsibility, accountability, whatever the judge or y'all feel fit, I take that. People probably would have saw that, like, damn, okay, it was an accident. But you won't seem steady trying to get your swerve on, asking it, do you want to see it? Like, shh. And this is for you people out there, white women included. The white man don't care about you. You thought you was going to get that police privilege, that paid leave. Nah, man. You got to be much. you gotta be a white male in order to yeah. get them benefits. Right. We talked about that. You know what I'm saying? This is the cornerstone. Not, not even a milestone, but this is the cornerstone. We got to get that white man life. Yeah. When you get that. Let us be free, my nigga. Let us be free. <laughs> so why you think she did it? Hmm. Why do you think she did because it? Because them the ones that keep getting off, like literally committing right. murder in front of your... She, do you think she was just trying to do it? just because? Oh, why she did she do it? Yeah, why did she do it? I have a true, genuine, she was uh, thought that she was maybe scared, thought it was an apartment because she was distracted. You too big, you texting and getting some. We done all been in them situations where... I mean, I ain't gonna speak. I, I assume we all been in them. Somebody hits you. Well, damn, this might be the night. Might go down. You ain't thinking about too much else. Too much of anything else. I'm trying to get. Okay, right. I might go drink a little something. If I ain't been drinking, I'm off work. She's off duty at this point. I might drink a little bit, get in the mood. Oh, he's saying he want to see me. I'm doing this, that. I got distracted. Easy, but as we know. Mistake or not, accident or not, hey, you get locked up for these things. You yeah. got to pay for it. Yeah. Because we got people in jail. They ain't done nothing. Right. We talked about that. Oh, there she is right there. That's real shit. Amber Geiger. White women get you killed. Oh, I always say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good advice to live on. We right. said white women get Literally. killed. Like, hey, the movie show it. <laughs> History I, shows it. Old heads done told me that. My brothers done told me that. Be careful, cause it get you killed. Yeah, I seen some law. I don't know if it's approved. With or white not, women, but it's like a uh, Sorry. no, not about white women. <laughs> <laughs> like if you got your hands up and your the cops shoot you, like it goes against them. Like there's a there's an actual time. law that you can defend yourself against a unlawful and unreasonable arrest. How? Like fight if there's a reason like they not they shouldn't have pulled you over. Everything is bogus. And they're hurting you and abusing. You have the right to fight back, to yeah, protect I yourself. I don't think that law go for us. No. It don't know. Yeah, it no. don't. No. We know it. it don't <laughs> have <laughs> weapons. Make sure he's not moving. At the end. We know it goes for the the Caucasian people because they cuss, slap, slap the your fuck gun out of my face. I'm tired of this shit. Slap your gun <laughs> out your hand. Please stop your vehicle. <laughs> Get this fucking gun out of my and face. Like sir. we talked about, we me and him be talking about. Is you know these these worldly situations? There was also a police officer that got what one hundred and something victims of planting drugs. Yeah, damn. Yeah, Come just on, planting bro. drugs, saying oh, this is cocaine. People scared. That's yours. What? Yeah, no, literally, bro. Like he was planting drugs. It was like sad. It was heartbreaking, bro. Yeah. I watched. It. I was tearing up. Like, like, bro. How can niggas is trying to do the right thing, bro? And. Dave Chappelle was speaking facts. He sprinkled some crack on him. <laughs> no, for real. No, that, that is little. God get, bro. He smacked like 102 people in jail for methamphetamine. Man, you know what the Cold. kind of time you can get, bro, bro for meth and coke? Man, that's fucked. 
planning it on him. Oh, you you plan. And I this would kind of made me teared up for a white fucking man. <laughs> he was like, "Come on, bro, don't do me like this, like, bro." Dude. You got me. I'm like, see that damn, shows you that, bro. Like, police that, that shit their broke my heart. Cold type shit, bro. You can see the sad. scramble though, because it's getting ridiculous. I watched a video of a guy. He followed this dude for 20 minutes and then he pulled him over and he said the reason he pulled him over is because you had an air freshener on your rear view mirror, mirror and that's illegal. They impede your vision. He's like, what? And then he proceeded on to ask him about marijuana. Did you got heroin on? He asked right. me about weed about four or five times. How much did you say you smoked today? That type of person. You know, you kind of talk about something else and try to throw what you really want in the mix again to see if he changes his answer up. He's like, bro, I told you I don't smoke. Oh, okay. Sure, you ain't got no hair on in the car here. Damn. So we went from an air freshener to tent to weed to hair on to a gun. You're just trying to find something, anything. I, I didn't be the victim. Cops like get more payments depending on what they bring people they in. They say it's yeah, not a quota, do. but it's a quota. There's yeah. there's a quota. You know, it's like not. Uh, it's a associate. quota, but it's not a quota. If I sell socks, I get more percentage on my commission than if I'm just selling shoes. Because I have a friend that works. He said it's a quota, but it's not a quota. It's no paperwork that says, "Hey, we got to get this amount of arrest." But, a but yo 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 head guy, hey, y'all need to have X amount of arrest or citations this month. So we look like we doing something. Well, the police department got to pay for stuff somehow. Got to. Got to find. Right, right. Got to. It, it, and I think America as a world, as it continues to go, and they seeing just how crazy and corrupt. I feel like the police, like anything state-wise or anything should be like a, like a, like a donation, volu- like a volunteer, because then we'll get more of uh not trying like you said quota or anything like that it should be maybe uh like a volunteer kind of uh thing like we just rather need to be like china to get the cameras hooked up shit right even over there though they fighting each other because <laughs> he's like bro y'all can't just film us everywhere niggas got mask on <laughs> it's a it's a limit it's, it's crazy i just i don't know america's fucked off and I'm just just being in different countries and understanding the way of life and different things and and there like there's certain countries that they don't have guns like you can yeah like UK the UK yeah they like carry South, tasers. Like South Korea you they don't have guns they have them long ass sticks so if you do fuck <laughs> up bush it not you might go to sleep <laughs> and then they wake you up and you're eating fucking rice and water but hey that's I feel like that's more efficient than shooting a nigga Off that niggas. don't that know EJ what's kicking in. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I mean, when you really think about like what the purpose of police is, they say it's like to serve and protect, right? Yeah. So what part of having a gun for routine traffic stop or anything? Is that's that what I'm saying. These are like a militia. Right. It's right. to right. serve and protect it, themselves. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. They're, they're they live by their own code. Absolutely. Right. No that's what I'm right. saying. Like they don't have guns for every situation. Now, if a nigga has guns and he's trying to hold up yeah. some, then yeah, pull out the gun. You hold too much power with a gun. Right. You know what I'm and people she- are not, and I'm just keeping it 100, people are not mentally prepared to have a gun or have that type of power. I'm yeah. finna get me one. I feel like. And yeah, when they, they, they think they're free to do whatever <laughs> when you have a, a weapon. <laughs> and people are not, like, haven't been through. Like, if I was a police officer, I'm gonna square up with you first. I'm like, look, yeah. we're gonna but fight, see, but then but the not army not even set up like the police. That's honestly. that's the thing. See, when you go through the army and y'all do y'all basic training, y'all are putting those and you situations. Have to shoot shots and shit. Police officers, there's no warning. Right, shots. bro. They're they're, they're, they're putting them situations. You taught to deal with a live grenade. You taught right. to deal Different with live countries. rounds right. firing at you and how to handle yourself. We're talking about people that train for only six months. Half of them either been. Punked or bullied, ain't never been in a confrontation a day in their life, and you saying, okay, the first time you really get in a a semi-stressful situation, you got a gun at your hand, and now you're scared because 
whatever the black dude look away or the black woman been look away. For it. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be shit you're trained for. They don't train you for that shit though. Six they months is not you, enough for anything. You the bare right. minimum, just like America does in any type of job. We give you these videos. You go outside, work out. You're good. All right, here goes your gun. Here's your duty. Go stop this crackhead over here. It's gonna be a hostile environment. But that's not hostile. It's though. not. But that's how they view. It because but see, they they're not trained like you. See, I think when you're oh, fuck crackhead. when you're in a a, a, a position <laughs> or a, um or a profession that requires you to have a gun and to be, deal with situations to where you're gonna have a gun on your side, whether somebody attacking you, arguing, whatever. Those people need to be put in situations to understand what it means to be in a stressful situation and not your first thought to go to my gun. No, right. you're supposed to as the army, what do y'all y'all not to we shoot y'all not taught to shoot right. to somebody shoot at y'all. Right. We're combatives. We learn how to fight, you know, hand to hand. How long is basic training? It was when I went thirteen weeks. How long a police officer's basic training is what, six months? And that's yeah, for every that's, that's everything. That's right, everything. That's everything. That's, that's not your physical. Badge, right. Your that's gun not, license. Twenty six weeks. What? Six months. Yeah. Yeah. 26. We 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 had like three months. That's just basic training. You right. got to go through. Right. right. We had to, but we had to repel. We had to shoot while that's moving. What you learned in right. those weeks that you're there. That's what I'm saying. We had to run. We had to um, throw grenades. Um, we had to shoot. Big like weapons, but that, that's what I'm saying. It's just being. I feel like being in a um, more hostile environment. Not saying growing up, but just being aware of how people are and move yeah. in your in your community. And I feel like people that grow up in a better community or and they feel anything that's confrontational, more, more timid, right? You know what I'm saying? Thinking that they're and then they have that power to, you know, have that weapon or, you know, and then pursue whatever. Because not everybody's raised in that. Is like, let's think of it as, um, let's see, more, let's say uh, 40% of the, you know, American population mm-hmm. is living good, is, is above the, you know, above yeah, middle class. And right. And of course, it's going to be 70, 80 more, you know, percent of living in that. Poverty, you know, yeah. sixty whatever. <laughs> just the same. Just I'm just throwing out yeah. numbers, but we got to realize, like, not everybody lives like that. So everybody gets timid. Everybody is scared. The white man, you First know, sign of like, but it's also conflict or right. And the thing is, with me, I'm not scared of confrontation. I'm really not. So if I had to, like, if we you throwing hands, I'm gonna throw hands. I'm there should be no reason to throw reach for your gun. right. Period. See, I'm not I'm sorry. Sorry. If period. I reach for my gun, I'm at least shooting for a leg. Some of them some people, shit. right? I'm not shooting right. 26 period. times. In your some back. of the some of the people come on to the police force. I just want to be the person to help make change, save lives, and be that person. But also, a lot of the people that want to save lives ain't been in no, ain't had a real fight. Don't know what it means to be in a confrontation but you ready to save lives and then when you pull some over somebody you already know when it comes with jobs and positions you get that notion oh this is these people are this or you know what I'm saying you get the rundown on what to look out for so you telling somebody that ain't never fought ain't never argued but want to save people right. want to stop that's, crime that's don't know saying. confrontation is right. but you that's can't deal saying. with stressful situations right. that comes with stopping it so the minute somebody looks away makes a certain move oh i fear for my life right. y'all act like niggas have been drawing down on cops officer, you can't be a normal pedestrian when you're bro, a police officer. that's the you thing bro and you the gotta Lindsay, separate yourself you can't right. hold on everybody that's in front of you but like right. you have to be able to stand your ground and Absolutely. know how to assess the situation and even if I do have to shoot you, I'm only gonna shoot you in your leg. To like immobilize, I said, not excessively. Right. Where you got four officers, just, gah, 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 I'm gah, shooting. Gah, 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 I'm gah, shooting gah, gah, gah. toes. That's the thing. The thing That's is it. to shoot to immobilize, right? Not to shoot to kill, right? Leg. Hey, you could shot him in the leg. He would have dropped all it. Ah, shit! Ah, oh, my leg. I'm shooting your ah. pinky. I'm shooting your pinky toe. Ah. That's it. Ah. You niggas is aiming for head, chest, and then you <laughs> loading off your whole clip. Right. Man, then, then, then reload. Put your hands behind your back. He's and dead. I'm like, come on. Don't He's move. hands behind his back. 
And the cops that be punching and and that's what I'm saying. It's too while your hands behind your back. Come on, they have too much power, and that's why they feel like they can be live by their own code. Like if I do off somebody, I'm gonna be saved by the police. But, I'm gonna get suspended with pay. You know what I'm saying? Right. But what we found out in Dallas, Dallas, they can't afford to do that because one dude gave y'all the blues. He popped five of you police off. Police stations and y'all still all didn't over get him. Y'all had to send a bomb to blow him up. So Dallas, as we show, we're not the city. Hey, don't come over here messing with this bullshit. Because y'all couldn't handle one dude. You get about five, six, seven people. You shut down. <laughs> we're going to shut the police department down. These are people that are trained for real. That's when, that's when the militias come out, bro. When they don't agree with the authority and everything that's going sure. on. Sure, absolutely. Then then that's absolutely. when those, that's when the solid, the uh Civilians get together And that's when they start Getting their own weapons And that's when they militia come Like okay Since you wanna do this Then this is gonna be our code And we got weapons now So Goddamn division for real (laughs) No for real That's what it was He smacked Like what How many people he killed Police officers Uh He shot like five He was in the marines Or army And they didn't know what to do Bro, and that's the but, thing. Bro. Well, I say you can't whoop my ass and kill me too. They can, you can't get both of them satisfactions. Right. I gotta fight back at some time. I'm saying all this excessive because they're trying to get rid of us black folks because we strong. Black folks just set all the trends. Black and brown folks set that's everything that people live on nowadays. It be music, it be fashion, it be food. Black and brown people. It be protecting this country. I've seen it be protecting the country, right. coming up with the inventions, right. the technology. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? The things that really made it just us a, go round. It's just right. a scramble, you know. With Trump being in prison, and they right, Caucasian people is dying. Different Caucasians <laughs> is dying left and right. Stand they can't Trump. afford. They but death rate is high. So, so let me ask rate. you this: What code do you think? The president should go through, say, for instance, for Trump. His ass needs to be gone, which is, I mean, I'm happy he's leaving. Huh? Mr. Producer Man wanted to, got a video he want to show. Into the next part or whatever. Right now, this is what's trending. Uh, his brother took a leader on the Trump or whatever. Yeah. And I want to try to get, you know. Oh, yeah, you saw the video? Shit, yeah. like. Kind of give y'all a reaction on what's going on here. I think, matter of fact, that's what helped her, I believe, get her 10 years. Right. Because he hugged her. It's three minutes. It's three minutes. You can hear it. Can he hear it? <laughs> now, this is his brother. Hmm. Now, this is what's trending. This is his brother right here. Even still, what did I say? Black people are compassionate. No, we too compassionate, bro. Hell no. I see how she got to 10 years. I feel like now. she set that nigga up. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was set up in that. 
Snap her up right in there. You, you still got 10. You can come stop it, Mario. You see, that's what I'm saying. If she would have went in with that from the start, like, I just really fucked up. I'm sorry. This was an honest mistake. But instead, you went in as if, Oh, I'm gonna get off like the rest of the the blue the blue squad. I'm gonna get paid leave. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And now when you see oh shit's getting real, I might get convicted of murder. Now you want right. to start showing compassion and crying, like you should have showed that from the jump. But you on document, you still trying to get booty while they trying to revive. Mr. Uh, Mr. Gene right here. You ain't thinking about this dude. Well, was it the other thing? So I haven't been keeping up with it a ton, um, but I must have been keeping up through Twitter, and I saw something that said um, that she was actually texting after she shot him and didn't even attempt to perform CPR, yeah. but that somebody else, another officer, they came in and attempted to perform CPR. She texted her, her booty pal, yeah. I need you, instead of... Officer down, shots fired, boom, boom, boom. Y'all get here. Man, you, yeah. you went back to Texas again. Like, yeah. come on. Where your training at? But I think that also shows that, like, she, I feel like that emotion, that emotion, her crying is because she realized she's about to go to jail. Yeah, it's it real. Like a, oh, no, I, I regret killing him. It was like, right. oh, I'm about to go to jail for, I mean, whatever, at least your five years or whatever, if you get off parole. But it's also... I wish he wouldn't have done that on camera. Yeah. I feel like we always are burdened with that as black people are like, oh, we got to comfort white people when they do something wrong to us. We got to give them a hug and embrace them. And even though I'm not even going to say I agree agree or disagree with them, but it's also like, damn, you don't have to do that on camera. Because yeah. What because they, they show when they did that. That's punishment you know, is required in that in some way. Like, you said what? I said punishment is required in that some way. It's like yeah, you always, yeah. it's like you kind of giving them the free pass to right. what you did. Like, no, mm -hmm. you don't get no love. Yeah. Because you, you didn't show no that, reward. you didn't show that same love when you did it. Yeah. You, you thought everything was cool. Oh, I'm going to get the same treatment. I'm going to get some pay leave. I'm going to get off, whatever. But then, as you say, you see, oh, shit. I really might get convicted of murder. It's real now. Oh no, I wish it was him that shot me. No, no. Don't wish that on him. Don't even put him in that category. Yeah, you fucked up. Don't even different. put that on his spirit. I wish it was him that shot me and he was here. Nah, don't do that. <laughs> they would have been in life. They would have got any He would have been done. <laughs> right. Speaking of which, the officer black officer who got fired for arresting two six-year-old girls for which is like yeah he should be fired like one of these six-year-old girls but we you see the difference right it was a black officer that he that. fucked up on his job you fired him you she murdered she somebody. murdered somebody and y'all was iffy you had to fight about it like, i don't know iffy. it's an accident it's an ac Very occupational iffy. hazard no nah, brother no. Yeah, we know it's different for us colored people. That's what we gotta realize. Bro, it's different. You see how he showed love, even though he know the shit was wrong. He, bro, as black people, let's be real. We, we like, bro. If you like, show us a little bit of love, and we just like, okay, fool. You know what I'm saying? It's our bad. You know what I'm saying? That's like, think of it. Like, that's our maximum, bro. That's your nature, though. Right. That's yeah, what I'm saying, nature. bro. That's our nature, bro. Really. But white people be trying to drag us, skull drag us through drag the mud. And we just every be like, bump, oh, you know, it's a, it's an accident. You know, I'm going to forgive you. And and why should it be like that, though? You know what I mean? Why should it be we should accept the bullshit and be hugging and giving? Could you forgive Trump? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? No, no, no. There's nothing to forgive. He's he doesn't like people of color. Period. You, Let's just be coach? raw. Could you forgive him? No, no. Oh hell, no, no, no. Hell, no, 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 no. no, no. no, no. <laughs> 
So how like, you feel about so, his impeachment and everything? How y'all feel about that? That should be, should have been happened. Three this shouldn't be yeah. this shouldn't be in at the last like month or two of no. He should have been. Is it that if you get impeached, you can't rerun? Yeah, of course. Right. Right. If you get maybe, impeached, maybe that's why they stop doing. another four years or potentially. Maybe happen. that's why they're doing it. His ass yeah. needs to go. Yes, he has to go. He has so much hatred in his heart. It's scary, see, and we just walking around. Me and my old lady was talking about. It. I don't even think Trump is racist. He just he runs on money. He's business minded. With yeah. yeah. So if okay. if money inquires requires me fucking over black people. That's just what it is. If I it think were, it, I think he racist too, though. Yeah, he got a little bit. He got a little bit. <laughs> he got a little bit, bit but yeah. there was a time where rappers were. It's a song like Donald Trump. These whole whole song is about being like Donald Trump, having bread, doing what he do. But that's just bread. Niggas then everything got amplified more when he became president. You know what I'm saying? Then that was when everything started coming out like, ugh. He but, just but, showed what a nigga that don't know what he's nobody's doing. Nobody's making that song now. Who's ran by money is easily but manipulated. Like you said, bro, we've been saying this. America's not ran on good morals. It's ran it's on corruption. It's, it's ran America on fucking uh, conspiracies and fucking Backstabbing, uh, exp- conniving, yeah, conniving, money, taking, trail, just a business, killing, bro. even in the, with the Indians. It's not even money, it's power. Power. See that power but we run on power. That power. You know what I'm saying? If you see a broke white man in the street, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing, but that money gives them more of that power or makes them feel more than equal to you. That's why they strive to get it somewhere. That's why it's corruption after it. Because when you have more money than the next man, that makes you feel like you're not comparable. But see, money, I even. believe, is only important over here because China's dollar is not even equal Bro, to they ours. They dropped their dollar. They're the most powerful. We own. They Absolutely. own us, and they money don't even Equate. mean the same. Right. What they do they over dropped here. their 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 amount of dollar to on dollars purpose. on purpose just to have more control. They're buying land here in other little like countries that don't have as much. They're trying to slowly but surely take over, Moving and we in. and and you know it's just like man, y'all gotta realize, y'all gotta open your eyes. Eventually, y'all your kids are gonna learn Chinese, fam. That's just what <laughs> how it is. Fuck, <laughs> fuck learning Spanish is gonna learn Chinese, bro. And I've I had to learn that before I got out of the army. They already done. You're gonna have to learn Chinese. Does anybody know what Donald Trump is getting impeached for? Cause he's a fucking so up ass president. You gotta. Oh, what well, I, I know, know the most recent thing was with Ukraine. Ukraine. Cause apparently he had the Ukraine government. Uh, that he wanted them to look into something about Joe Biden's son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the sake of Joe Biden's presidential campaign, it was supposed to be like basically he wanted Ukraine to find dirt on Joe Biden for the campaign, which is a number. What thirty five thing on the list that he's done that should have got him? Yeah, it's like multiple. He didn't grab this one. The most validated. Jumped out the gate with that one. Right. Grab me by the pussy. Own a business as a president, still keeping his own business, making government officials come to his property as a president and pay to stay at his hotel. I seen that. While he owns his hotel. And he's not supposed to be making any money from any outside yeah. business. Only like president. presidency. But he's he's, he's living doing his it, best bro. Life. He's living his fucking best life. Thank you, Lil Duval. He's living it. That's I'm living my best life. <laughs> I feel like at this point, I'm honestly just happy that we all still here. Real shit. Yeah, because no. when he when he took over, I was like, we might have. A few years. We may have a world war. Yeah. war. Everybody yeah. coming. No real shit. But we was talking. I was saying. I'm like. I think to the point. Even other countries looking like this niggas really. He well, he's lost television? his marbles. Mm-hmm. We're not even gonna mess with it. We can't even blame them for this thing. He's beyond right. lost. He's beyond. You haven't seen like like they had floats of Donald Trump like headless and all of that shit in other countries. Like bro. otherwise, if this was a let's say George yeah. Bush or. A Barack Obama that was doing these same decisions and making these same moves. Oh, it's war for real. Oh, he think we a joke. 
but they like this nigga's lost, lost. He don't that nigga, they like you gotta think he's crazy. He bro. don't know left from right what he doing. But see, he has his own money too. That's what makes him dangerous, right? Because mm-hmm. he can literally yeah. pay off, do whatever the fuck he Absolutely. wants to. Which is why Absolutely. he shouldn't go to jail when they finally denounce his presence. That's the only thing saving him. That's because he has people that hate him with a passion. That's why he's gone. Because people that's just been like trying and trying, and it's like finally, nigga, we got. Over some point million people that voted for this shit. Now we took to the yeah. last year. To Niggas say. been hating that nigga yeah, passionately. Got like two months left, and, or a we month. Ain't got to worry about another four years. Yeah, no, year. right. Now who do you worry about? I hope Bernie Joe, gets it. Joe Biden may but be running. As Killer Mike said, Democrat, Republican, that mean nothing but different slave master name. Who yeah. got the black agenda in, in mind? Absolutely. Because what I learned after my research, Bernie Sanders ain't even for black people getting reparations. But he cool with the Jewish people getting it. See? Ah. Uh, uh, change your whole thought of now, dude. I'm black and Mexican, though. <laughs> but you <laughs> black. Hey, people you probably not going to agree with this, but Hispanics are just, they're, that was they're Mexican. Uh, Aboriginal. Huh? I said Hispanics, they're like native to the land. No, I, I, that's what I've been telling people. I feel like, bro, Indians were like Hispanic they're people. Hispanic, yeah. Right. That's why you got the Aztecs. You got to say like natives. You can't say, you know what I'm saying? You can't say Indians, but Native right. Americans. No, for real. So I get both from, you know, different worlds. I can't be one way, you know what I mean? So. But it's like, if Bernie Sanders was the guy and then. Ain't even for us getting pain, but, but he's cool. the most crucial one. on Breakfast Club. Damn, what was his name? That white dude. I know you yeah, talking about. Yeah, he has some name. pretty but good agenda. Like, black people definitely should get reparations. You're talking about Beto? Or Beto? Yeah, was it, was, no, it wasn't Beto. Oh, no, no, Texas. No, 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 it wasn't Beto. Beto. Uh, it was damn. another dude. Look him up. He was on the Breakfast Club. Cause he was with. Wait, is talk, he serious about it, or he just? He was like, I believe. He's like a billionaire. Him and Charlamagne running the campaign the to get the black vote. That's, is not. We don't not, know until it happens, yeah, but at right. that time, he's that's going the back. And he's one of the reasons that Donald Trump is getting impeached now. He's going back and forth with Charlemagne, saying like, "Yeah, y'all deserve to have reparations. We just, you know, what I'm saying he's for it." Go to the uh the you you on the YouTube page. The, uh, Click on their main page because he's recent. Because it's a, he got dude, white hair. Chinese dude, huh? He got that? white hair. Tim Ryan, Bernie Sanders. Nah, yeah, that's what I say. Go to their main page because it's one of their most recent videos. Yeah. Like, but who is truly for black people? But as I say, that's the question we need to start. And I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat. Because all y'all are is, is, is slave owners. One and the same, in a sense. We are one and the same. Which one of y'all got us in mind to get shit right? And if none of y'all got us in mind, y'all won't get us. Period. I think the other part of it is, too, like, even like Barack Obama, when he was campaigning, we was all behind him. But right. as he got in the office, a lot of his policies and a lot of things that he was actually doing in office weren't actually with us in mind as black people. That's because his curriculum got changed by the people that was controlling. Right. Yeah, it. You know, right. he could say one thing, but that don't mean it was going to be passed. Right, which is even that's what I'm realizing during the debates. It's like at the end of the day, whoever comes out the Democratic one is likely who we're going to be voting for. It's terrible yeah. or right. as great as they are. Right now, it's like the priority is we got to get Trump out. Yeah, he, that's at like the end of the day, he's, that dude he right could actually there. threaten our livelihood. With like he was just on Earth. Him right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's him. But you, 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 you're right. So we got to, because like right now, I'm a fan of Elizabeth Warren. Right. Mm. She seemed pretty dope, and she actually seems like thoughtful in all the stuff that she's she's talking about. But at the end of the day, it's if she don't like win. They, what they allow her to do. Because yeah. as we know, the president is nothing but the face for the people yeah. to feel mm. important and somebody to talk to, but everything is ran from behind the scenes. They tell them in what the to Congress. do. How to do it? If it's cool to do it? Oh no, that can't work. Sorry. Yeah, he has a say so, but at the end of the day, they have the final say so. He's just an idea man. Like I brought this idea to you, but how you guys feel about it? Which is why Trump can be so manipulated by everybody, every other United Nations leader. Everybody's pimping this nigga to, for their own gain because he don't know shit. He don't know this game at all. Oh, we can do what we want with him, but yeah, this is do. Mm, he looks shady. <laughs> Not like he's a fucking black vote. Hmm. 
I got zero money from my parents, okay. not one cent. Oh. My dad sure became a lawyer, stopped being a lawyer to go into the Navy in World War II, which everybody wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And then he was, because he was already a lawyer, he prosecuted the Nazis at Nuremberg. Mm. Wow. So one of the things he told me growing up and my two older brothers was when you see something really wrong, mm -hmm. you fight it. You don't ask how it's going to turn out. Mm -hmm. You don't try and game it out. You just do the right thing under pressure when you see something really, really wrong. That's the point about impeachment. Right. But so I, I w grew up here, started a business in the beginning of 1986. Mm -hmm. One room, no windows, mm -hmm. no employees, and built an international business. What was the business? It's basically taking money from school endowments and foundations, their, the money, their endowments, mm -hmm. and investing it for them around the world. Did it for 27 years. Mm -hmm. Felt like, you know what? I'm missing What's his name? part of life here. I mean, I love investing. I happen to enjoy. It's fun. Mm -hmm. And it turned out I was okay. Tom, at it. Tom, it. Tom made what? a bunch Sager. of money. And Sager. Basically, I want to stop doing this. Sager. 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 Tom Sager. The gift Sager. Sager. Tom Sager. Good causes. Sager. This and is Tom Sayer. Sayer. Coalitions of ordinary citizens to take on Stay. the corporate power. Sayer. Because I could look at the country Sayer. and say, Sayer. the corporations Stay. bought the government. Stay. It yeah. turns out Stay. this government Stay. failed. Oh, yeah. And Stay. there's a specific reason. Yeah. Yeah. Every Stay. time it fails. So Tom yeah. Sayer. It sounds like what are you saying? Charlemagne. Charlemagne? Or a game. Charlemagne. Charlemagne. Yeah, it's absolutely no one cares about it. They would describe themselves as the little people. Can you find them? Well, you were talking about the reparations. But it's like this. If I thing, did that, I'd be in jail. You have to look Everybody, out for it. That's too. Trump supporters, that's Trump opposers. Republicans, Democrats. They all say, if I did that, I'd be in jail. But and they're right. If they did that, they would be in jail. But do most Republicans publicly say that? No. These are not Repu these are Republican voters. Voters, mm -hmm. right. So they don't necessarily go to we should kick them out. So a bunch of I them do, but do not on own. by a long shot. I, I think but the point is they all realize well, it's one of them. You can pause the stop it. Trump is one of them things. You know how when you're losing and you, you, you're messing up, instead of just saving face and saying you messed up, you continue to try to defend it and find the reasoning behind it, but yet you continue to dig a deeper hole. I think that's what Trump and for the people that voted for him, where they at? It's like, Trump damn. keep trying to justify We it. know this nigga is, like, he is fucking up beyond measure worse than anybody we've never seen but we can't let them know that we got to continue to say oh well he's doing this he's doing this or because of trump unemployment is it's lower it's at all-time low but that's because of what the next man did we all know whoever's in the <clears throat> the president yo 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 uh what can i say Yo, your moves, your you know, say your ideas don't really take place until years later. You really start seeing the effects of it. So it's like for y'all to take credit for that is just y'all trying to save face instead of just saying, "Damn, we messed up. Let's get him out of here and let's start over." Usually, how it is. You just gotta figure out how to do it as a culture, though, as our own. Why we gotta always yeah. depend on somebody. We don't do it for us. Well, that's yeah. because I believe we in because we let them we let them get so far ahead. That's just where we at. We gotta get somebody. We gotta get one of them on our side first before we can get in there and just take it over as a whole and get back over. But because we gave y'all a four hundred, five whatever four hundred plus year head start to manipulate to get your foot in the game to get the money to get the businesses to own all that stuff. We're playing catch up. Well, so, I think, but I think we got to be careful because we didn't we didn't give them the four year four hundred year head start. They took they took it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They came in. They was like, no, nah, we gonna we gonna do this and we gonna keep putting our foot on your throats. And so, we still trying to get up while they still got their foot exactly. on our throats. And even though in some ways it's like, all right, maybe now it's not our foot, but we still got both hands on it. Right. We slowly like getting up there, but yeah. they still kind of hold the reins because they took so much from us for so long you know what i'm saying so yeah it helps to have some a couple allies on our side some people that are of caucasian descent to be in there and that work for us until we get back to the rightful spot to where we we, we take over we back over everything so now you know what i'm saying we don't have to depend on nobody else but as you said they took 
so much from us for so long. Now we we not on the foot no more. We got hands. We got a fighting chance. We can get your hands up off of us now. It'd be like, all right, what's up now? What y'all talking about now? Just a process. We slowly but surely getting there. You know what I'm makes saying? Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, get his ass. We still on Trump punk ass. <laughs> I wouldn't even be in a presidential place like that. I don't care for it. Because I know. They're going to have security guards with him wherever he goes. That's what I'm saying. I don't care to see the prison. Because I know at the end of the day, he's just the face. Yeah. He don't run nothing. He doesn't. That's why we got a whole house. Congress. He's the most tangible person for the people that has control. Right. They can veto anything. feel like y'all got some say so. That's right. why we can have a whole vote, a popular vote, but then a man can win on electoral votes depending on which states he, he went over. Wait a minute, I thought it was who like who the most. Right. That's what I thought it should be, like however mm-hmm. many people vote for you, you know what I'm saying? Not, don't even matter. <laughs> it don't matter. I feel like what you call, I feel like other countries should be able to vote sometimes too. Because you affect what's going around them as well, you know what I'm saying? That like, would be icy, really. Very be, icy. To say, not only do your country get a say so, but what other people outside say so about you, that way. Like, you're going to crash the economy for all of us if you're. Because Trump office. is fucking up everything for everybody. Yeah. Not to cut you off. Yeah, no, that's real. It is. Kind of rich like, for the rich. Uh, a shareholder. Yeah, and if a, we uh, have a vote as amongst the, our country, why not have a. A United Nations like vote get on who y'all feel or say so. You know, yeah. Yeah. like this person should run the United States. Because now you're like, part of it. You're like, but well, well, they're, they're not gonna let that happen. happen. Mm-hmm. Or this person should run Russia. We feel this person is cool like over China. This person's been with he, the United States. I mean, I mean the United he has like, everybody in mind versus. And that should be like the thing for for, for, the for UN. everything because we share the same world, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. they're not gonna let that happen. But Think that's about that, it, bro. even though they may not let it happen, that's what you should strive to get. Bro, if you, you live somewhere, everybody affects somebody. Not think just about it, bro. Your region. You're, you're, if you live somewhere, they're gonna vote for that person that where you live, fam. It's not gonna. But other say, people don't have the nothing United to, Nations should have an extra, like another say. So okay, this is who America voted but for. But their values are different than ours. But I'm saying these are people that There's okay, we reside, that have we reside over countries wives. and we reside over the world to make sure everybody's yeah. operating uh, cohesively. And see, we're not we're not so, needed as a world yet because we haven't had an outside saying, world bro. threat. It's, but I guarantee you, so another like, alien. That's we, a beautiful. We gotta be together as a minds are in the future. That should be strived for. Do you bro, think that's that? y'all minds are in? Yeah. Probably a hundred so years whatever, now. So whatever whatever country just, vote for, okay. You think now about that it you now, vote for, I'm gonna spark that the, shit. The United Nations takes them I mean, to uh, through a, a certain criteria or test to say, okay, let's see if you really. But although the people voted for it, you still may not be ready for this yeah. worldly stage. We don't think he's ready shit. for that because he's he's gonna make our world economy go down because it's like we were saying about the water. You know what I'm saying? Like, the water is liquid gold. You know what I'm saying? Water it can be way more than diamonds and shit because how scarce your fresh water can be. So if America has one of the greatest fresh water sources and you give it to somebody that's a child that can squander that shit, and we all need water to live. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. <clears throat> that most certainly is a world discussion versus, well, since the water's over there in your area, then you guys get to talk amongst yourselves and Tell us what you feel about it, and we'll just be on the outside waiting to die and be dehydrated. Wouldn't be fair. Because if China had the water, and they were like, no, you can't say anything, like, you feel wrong. But but China would find a way to finesse it and sell the water to make sure that <laughs> China is the greatest finester ever. Because they finesse the shit out of America. Saying. Bro, they drop their own, like, let's be real, they drop their own dollar just to make sure everyone comes from for them yeah, to take yeah. over. The for thing you, is, for we, you people bro, that don't live, know let's be what real. he's saying, I'm just feeling them in. Mm-hmm. One, you know why you see everything made from China or some Asian country? It's because they lower the value of their dollar on purpose so you would come to them because they are cheaper. You so the niggas are ready China, to work. But so if you, everything you own and make comes from us, bro, it doesn't they're matter. They're running the world. That's the thing. We're like, bro, y'all gotta stop thinking fucking next like 
we're a uh, next door neighbor type shit, bro. This is a world, right? It's about we're, world domination. We're in a fucking Earth, and it's not as it's not big like Jupiter or anything else. Yeah. Y'all gotta think. Y'all gotta think outside y'all fucking house and room, <laughs> nigga. Niggas is living. Niggas trying to like own the world, nigga. Yeah, yeah nigga, there's domin- islands, the there's goal. continents, nigga. That, world domination, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like y'all got to get out of feeling like, oh, I, I, I got my own shit. No, you don't. <laughs> so like, we live on one fucking planet that we know, and we understand each other, and so we got to realize, bro, niggas is trying to take over in. In their own way, See, their own continent know. is trying to take over in their own way, and y'all like it, it's just like it's funny how think niggas think oh I can I can travel the world and nigga you got one world to travel on we're not into interlacting space we're not in Star Trek <laughs> we're not in the Orville bro sure. there's nothing that we're going to like we got one fucking globe one world to protect so when this bitch is done we're Done. Bro, <laughs> in this that that we know, there niggas might be aliens. Like we're not gonna fuck like with y'all that. niggas. We, that's why we don't know about. There's other living creatures and beings. They just don't they, fuck with us, right? I They're think not they gonna do. fuck with us, bro. To be I, honest, and I don't blame them because I think they, they do. Fuck with us as a resort type of spiel, I think they do. Come like, hey, I'm an alien. We just don't know that. That's I mean, what I'm saying. Because yeah, what, what you only know what you know. know. Right. We only know what we know when we're The person born, above bro. you, your boss, you know knows know a nothing. certain amount, and whoever's above him knows a certain That's amount. That's it, bro. They your take it to you, the army. You. Your general, he knows a lot, but he only knows so much. There's only so much. They tell him. The Congress, who runs the presidency in the world, knows everything. So who's to say an alien see, ain't stepped by something. and something. said, hey, something. what's up, guys? You guys doing okay? And how much you want to bet if we did say, let's say, okay, that, if there was aliens, how much you want to know that we were slaves? How much you know Low we, we leave this planet that they have, mo- like, a weapons? part of me believes that the corruption of the world comes from aliens because I it feel comes like something people. that harms the world so much can't be from it. You know what I'm no, saying? Okay. It's, it's people because... Think we're images of God, people. but we're the That's only on. we're the only creatures that wasn't created with contentment. We're not taught we wasn't created to be content. A lion, a cheetah, a gazelle, animal, everything else across the world is content with their position. I'm content with being a gazelle. I know right. I gotta run from lions and hyenas from time to time, right. but I'm content with being I'm not looking for nothing better. I'm cool with this. A lion. I'm not. I'm content with eating just gazelles here and there. I'm not looking for a home, a thousand pride, thousand lion pride. I'm not looking for nothing big. I'm cool. But the, our Creator, our God, gave us the mind and the ability to be able to grow and not settle. So you're not settled with. Let's say we put it to weight. I'm not settled with being 250. I want to lose weight. I want to go work out. I'm not settled. I'm not cool with just being. Working at McDonald's, I want to do. This. I'm not cool with us not having the technology to tell what the weather's gonna be. I'm not cool with us only traveling by horse. I need us to get somewhere farther, faster. I'm not cool with having to send a message by horse and travel right. three, four, I'm ten not cool weeks. With only eating this amount of food, I need the excess amount. I need to be full. I need to eat every day of my yeah. life because I'm not content with just eating. To sustain life, I'm cool with eating for a leisure. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We're the only creatures that are not cool with contentment. We we always seeking growth and better, faster, stronger, smarter, look better, I'm beautiful. Lion don't care how he look. A cheetah, hyena, monkey, duck, chicken, they don't care how they look. Because if that was the case, they would be tired of us killing them. Like, bro, we got to find a way to keep these people from killing us and eating us. Don't see armies of ducks coming. You don't see it. We're the only people that are not cool with contentment. We're always seeking the betterment. So as you're seeking the betterment, you're willing to do any and everything. It to get to it. If it costs destroying the earth, I'm I'm, I'm semi cool with that because it's gonna make everything in my life faster, efficient. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like we talked about vegetarians and people eating meat. 
you know, we're able to eat meat, we find out there's a benefit to humans for eating meat. You gain a little more weight, you're stronger, something more sustainable. But as we know, lions, they only eat that one time. And they won't eat hyenas, whoever they eat, any animal. They don't eat every day because I, I just want to eat. I eat to live. I don't live to eat. And they eat for a couple of days, possibly. Yeah, one they meal. Have, well, that one right, meal, though. That one meal can last maybe. We don't mm -hmm. kill 10, right. 7, right. 30 right. gazelles to eat. Absolutely. We get one, maybe two. A week or something. And like that, that lasts us for. Right. You know what I'm saying? You have we'll to eat right. a thousand chickens in a week, though. A thousand. You see a how million. fast the chicken sandwich sold out? You're right. To Popeye? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I bet you all them burgers won't even finish. You don't even eat. Niggas don't even eat because they hungry no more. Eat. Or you want to go fun. out? Yeah. You go out on a date. You will eat. You're not even hungry, or whatever. But you'll go out on a date, kick it, let's drink, let's eat. I'm not even hungry, but I'm gonna eat anyway because you know I'm on a date. I gotta do that. Right. You're absolutely right. Do y'all think? Well, I know we'd be better if we come together as a human race instead yeah. of uh, All black segmented. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I think if there was like. If we did see an alien and know that there was something else, do y'all think we'll come together? See, that's what I'm saying. That would be the only thing that would bring us together Possibly. as a human population is an outside planetary threat. Mm. Then you don't have no choice but to be our world against your world, in a sense. And then if that world, if another universe comes into our universe against your universe, it would only be, we would only get bigger when there's a greater threat. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you come together stronger. Just like Donald Trump, he's a greater threat, so everybody can everybody's like, coming together because there's a greater threat that you need to take care of. Even Caucasians like, damn. That's what I'm damn, that that nigga is, is fucking he's up. Raw he's with it. Super he's fucking here. Like, he's on uh, our <laughs> so it's so it's actually a video. So I went to grad school in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And we had um at a part of our program, one of our classes, we watched this video. It's called Space Traders. Yeah. And the Space Traders is about an alien race that comes into Earth. And they say um, we have unlimited supplies of, I think it's like oil, gas, and water. Right. Basically, like resources that we really need on, yeah. Earth, mm -hmm. on Earth. And so, what they do is they say, we'll give you this, we'll give you all of our resources, we'll give you unlimited resources for y'all if y'all give us all the people who basically don't pass a paper or who don't pass a paper back test, basically anybody who's black. Damn. Yeah. So, it's a, it's a fictional video, but it shows like, how white people react and then like how black people respond in order to like white people debate and then white people have like a private vote where they call the number <laughs> and then it's like well all right so all these white people say like they love black people or all this kind of stuff and it's like well but what you gonna vote and then the vote comes in and white people vote to get rid of black people to get to get all anyway <laughs> and so then you see like in the video all the uh like all the black people lined up and getting like uh Beamed up. It up into, beamed up into the alien ship and all that and you even see like the vice or no it wasn't the vice president but like um powerful black people within the government who the white people told would be safe it's like yeah. nah we want them to <laughs> and all that so that just made me think you said the alien thing i still don't even believe it yeah but that's also i don't have a lot depends of on like people. the threat too like if they come with the either or mm -hmm. we do this or we no, bro, they like, remember when we were talking about fighting other countries, there's it's cool to fight when there's a structure, but how do you fight crazy? As we say, how do you deal with a crazy woman or a crazy man? How do you combat somebody, un, somebody that I don't care what to I don't have nothing to lose? That's what I, we, we feel as America that's, that's is a that, threat. You know what I'm saying? We don't have we have that that thing. We don't care what it takes. If it's going to keep us where we at and in power, we'll do whatever. If it costs giving up black people, cool. If it costs keeping black people to make us even stronger, I bet that world got we'll so keep bland. It. But we don't care about black and brown people, bro. I bet that world was just. What do we do now? The people that run this world don't care about the art, the race, nothing. The they flavor. care about power. So mm -hmm. if, if us coming to power means giving more make Hispanic people more jobs, we'll do that. Right. Over if it here. comes to getting making more black people billionaires, we'll do that. If it's going to make us more powerful as a nation and be able to eventually, because the ultimate goal 
to me, for all these countries, is world domination. Because what I say, we're, us as people, we're not cool with contentment. You're not cool with being second place. You're not cool with being even with everybody. Everybody wants to be the best. That's what we taught as humans. Are not happy with themselves. You're not taught, especially America, to be oh, in China to own we owe them money. We're not cool with that. Yeah, we got to deal with what we got to deal with. But at the end of the day, we want to own this. We want to run everything because we're not content with just being and letting everybody run and be sufficient in you know who they are. As like I always use the animal kingdom, everybody's cool with where their role is. You know what I'm saying? And our world is it's not like that. Just people in general are not like that. Striving to be more than equal. we striving to be the be best. Equal, no matter. How much money you got, no matter how much land you got. It's not even equal. It's the best to be the best that right. you can be. Right. But see, to make no the if most the money, best, to be the fastest, to be the better singer, equal. to be the better artist, to get. That's what they're fighting for. And no matter what you do, no matter how many things that you acquire, you will still be equal. equal Our lives you, will end you the die, same way, bro. bro. It, thank you. If I cut off your oxygen, you will die. But right. see, that's, you know the, that's the conundrum because there is no. No matter what you do, you're always going to be equal to somebody oh, else. Bro, but then when you die, then you don't be equal to that person. It's a, it's, it's, what's <laughs> that? It's still like that infinity you. sign. You just keep going That's in circles. You can't take none nothing of with you. you. Can't take you just going in circles. I want to be the like best. That's guess what? what? You're that's not what, the best. That's what it is. Like in the in the whole, well spiritual world or whatever you want to believe in, they want you to do that because that's when they separate everything from everything. Like, bro, you worried about the wrong earthly, earthly. physical. See, you know, this is our physical form is this is it. This is we have a first physical realm right now. This is what we feel and touch and that's bro, it's conquering divide whole, though. That's make that's drawing your eye over here when the real shit is going on. You know what I'm saying? Right, that, bro. I gotta split you up, I gotta segment you, because the more I segment you, the more power I get. That's somebody that like you said, that sees the Oh, I gain more if I separate these two. Instead of everybody yeah. working together, we're not realizing if you do all work together, the moment everybody you gets back. gets gets a piece. But it's always that the one or those few, or we can say the one percent that feel well. If we do this, all the sources and resources and everything could come to us. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We're we're a greedy resources. country. We're, we're based on greed. We're gluttonous. Yeah, absolutely. I don't Greed even know if that's a word. Anything, that's a big bro. ass SAT word. Gluttonous. Isn't that like yeah. a seven deadly sin? But it, it is a sin. But yeah. gluttony is a it sin. Is a, yeah, gluttony. It is. More, more, more. Talk to have more, more. Be so I can't better. chase money, bro. Happiness is self within. Money it's joy. Is always, you can't ever get the most amount of money because money will always be there. That happiness. Success is something that you build within, bro. And a lot of people that I feel chase that world domination or that conquer and divide are some people that would never be happy with themselves. So they would only seek out to destroy more people to make themselves feel better. And the moment you take away from somebody else is the moment you take away from yourself. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So we're all connected. We got to realize that. Real shit. We are. Even animals, we all connected animals. You know, we're just, just, we're just I, the most conscientious refer, mammal of ourselves. Right. You know what I'm saying? I refer right. to the animal kingdom a lot because I look at Discovery Channel a lot, but it's like, dang. You see ourselves, bro. No, not even ourselves. I see a, a, a civilization that operates and functions. Nobody's trying to outdo the other. Yeah. Right. Although lions okay. eat right. gazelles. We only need one of y'all. We won't even take y'all best. Matter of fact, we'll get rid of y'all weakest and most sickliest person for y'all in order to nourish our family and to keep that going. We won't want nothing else. Y'all go be yourselves. If they're, they're content, there's a role. They play a certain role in order to keep this ecosystem functioning properly. There's no one person too powerful. There's no one person too weak. Everybody needs everybody. Right. If you run along with the herd, they're not trying to eat a hundred gazelles that's in front right. of them. Whereas right. people, like I said, we're not taught to be content. So everybody's looking to be, to out better the other person. We made everything a competition, which it is. If you want the promotion, you got to be better than the next man you working with. You want to spot on the football field, you got to be better than the next man you working for. 
or working with or going against. Whereas animals, they don't compete like that. There's no competition. We play this position in, in the ecosystem. This is what helps our, us function as a whole, keeps everybody happy. Bam. We're Absolutely. not like that. You know what I'm saying? Which is why now you get to a point where one race is dying out faster than the other. White because folks. you sought so long to manipulate and to be better and to be on the top to where that ain't how this universe or this world was meant to function. Everybody was supposed to live and coincide. Really, right. Yeah. Equally. So right. to make this world better, but one person decided. Big care scientist, man. You right. get all of that. I'm no, gonna do real. this. I'm a right. One snake race decided to make it. Professor, like our race was better. That's it. And that, but there wasn't even the white book. folks. It was the Spaniards that did that back then to make. That's how they started slavery. Was the Spaniards decided to? Slavics are the first slave. That's where the word slave comes from. Sure, but <laughs> um, I'm just going off. <laughs> no, but but it was like it was a concept, right? Slavic people came with what? What time? Well, well, you, do we have any more topics? He had a question. Shit, we've been on it. I mean, we can, right. we can go. We can go. We can do gibberish like my pad. Yeah. You don't want to do that. We got to close it out. Finish your thought. What was my thought? Do you remember? Oh. Well, that's all, folks. Thank <laughs> you for tuning in. <laughs> well, with that being said, another wonderful, informative Uncut episode of the Uncut Knowledge Podcast. Okay, yeah, we got we got an episode of Gibberish probably coming to y'all a little bit later. We are gonna record it, go in the garage, relax a little bit, probably get a little bit more uncut with these oh, freestyles and stuff. <laughs> With anyway, the thoughts and everything. We appreciate the brother man, Kevin. Appreciate y'all for having me. I'm most certainly. We had a good talk. We talked about some stuff. But, huh? But no, we talked. We had a lot of stuff to talk about that branched in the yeah. other stuff. So we appreciate y'all people tuning in. I don't even know which camera I'm on. Y'all tuning in, man. Keep tuning in. We're going to keep getting better for y'all. And you know what I'm saying? Peace. Peace. Love and chicken grease. We out.